Hello, and welcome to the video version of Gimbal's Tip of the Week. I'm Karen Dunn-Skinner. Together with my partner, David, we're the principals of Gimbal Lean Practice Management Advisors. You'll meet David next week when he hosts the next tip. We've had lots of requests to share these tips by video. We do a lot of webinars, but doing these short video tips is something completely new for us. And we're really looking forward to using it as a way to bring you suggestions every week, practical suggestions on how you can become more efficient and how you can build a more profitable and productive law practice. Let's face it, as much as we all love to practice law, we know we are not always as productive as we need to be, and we've got to keep that revenue coming in. So that's a really great segue into this week's tip. Can doing less work make you more productive? And the answer is yes. Sometimes less really is more. Many of the tasks we do on a daily basis, they don't add any value. In fact, they take up valuable time and they prevent us from doing the things that do add value. You know the most recent study from Thomson Reuters finds that small firm attorneys are still spending about 40% of their day on non-billable work? If you haven't read the report, I highly recommend it, and not only because the authors managed to quote both JFK and the band Rush, which is not something you find in most legal reports. Anyway, there's a link to it in the notes below. Some of that unbillable work that you do is going to be necessary. It adds value for your business, and you may be the best person to be doing it, and that's all great but the rest of it has to change. By becoming more efficient, by improving your processes, and by moving work to more appropriate and often lower cost resources, you are gonna free up more of your valuable time to do the work that only you can do, the work where you are truly adding value. So look at the tasks you do every day. If you're not already using a matter management board to visualize your work, to make that work visible, it may take you a little longer to go through the things you do every day. And if you want, you can check out our short video, Why Use Matter Management Boards, a primer, in the notes to this episode. There's a link. So if you're not using a board, you can still do this. Try making a list as you go through your day. Focus on the routine tasks that you do more than once. Anything. Anything that you have to repeat is a target for automation or at least for standardization. So create a template, create a standard form, write down the process and then follow it. Don't always start from scratch. And once you've standardized how you do a particular task, then sit back and ask yourself, is there someone else who can and should be doing that task? And if there is, then hand it off. Teach your assistant how to do it, outsource it. You need to limit your tasks in the doing column to the things where you are really adding value for your business and for your clients. And it may mean you're doing less, but you will be more productive and more profitable in the time that you have. In that time, you will be adding value. And remember, we see this with all of our clients, but you will get the biggest boost to your profitability by making sure that you have the right people doing the right tasks. And if that right person isn't you, then you need to delegate that task or outsource it. And that's it, that's it for this week's tip. Before we go, I want to remind you that you will find links to many of the things we've talked about today in the notes to this episode. And you can join us next week. We are going to give you our top tips on setting up your own matter management board so you can visualize your work, you can manage it better, you can see where you're spending your time. You're also gonna get our matter management board setup checklist. And we thought a lot about what goes into the checklist and a lot about what you need when you're actually setting up your, your board. And I know you'll find the checklist super useful. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, please give this a like, share it with colleagues who you think might be interested, and maybe even leave a comment or ask us a question. If you're already subscribed to our tip of the week, don't worry, you're still gonna get the emails. And if you're not, then hit the subscribe button so you can be sure that you don't miss a single tip. If you happen to get here through LinkedIn and you enjoy the new format, then please also give our post the thumbs up on LinkedIn and share it. Also, you can send us your comments or your questions on LinkedIn. We really want to start a conversation with you about what it is you're doing to become more productive and more profitable. So thanks a lot, everybody. We'll be back with another tip next week.